Hello, hello, thanks for tuning in. All right, today we wanna to look back at the solar panels from Harbor Freight. Been getting a lot of interest and comments on whether you can combine the old solar kit with the new solar panel. And the short answer is yes, you can. So if you see up here, I've got a couple kits of the old 100 watt. So that's 200 there. And we got a 100 watt kit right here, or a 100 watt panel right here. And they are all connected in. The sun is starting to set. So we'll go down and we'll talk about exactly how to connect them and see what we're getting around sunset. Okay, we got 300 watts of solar on the roof. 200 watts of the old kit and 100 watt panel of the new kit from Harbor Freight and you see we're only pulling down about 124 watts. The sun is setting as you can see. Uh, the numbers are a little skewed because the batteries were fully charged so the charge controller clicks off uh, at about 14 and a half volts so it won't capture the power coming through anymore once the charge con controller protects the batteries. So as you can see, you know, we're pulling around 8 amps right now. Uh, into the battery and it does very well and there are some limitations with the wiring and everything and we'll go through that now okay your harbor freight kits are going to come with a pigtail like this and this is a sae connector one terminal is going to be positive and one terminal is going to be negative usually the shielded one which is the one that's right here and enclosed inside the plastic there let me get a better view on that The one that's enclosed in the plastic right there on the left. That's usually positive and you see it's red. So the option you have is just to get one of the splitter kits from Harbor Freight that look like this. And this one's all chopped up. But you get one of these four-way splitter kits. And you would just plug right into the SAE connections and run it to your charge controller. Now, you have to be careful because of the amperage. You've seen in there we were pulling down about 8 amps. I think it was peaking around 12 to 13 amps. The Harbor Freight charge controllers, I don't think are designed to handle that because they just kept burning out on me. So I went and just got one of those Amazon ones, and I'll drop the link in the description on that. So you can connect from SAE to SAE, which is the cheapest, easiest, and least efficient way because these connections will heat up, especially with anything over 8 amps coming through them. Um, the other way you can, and it also depends if you're doing 12 or 24 volts. So this is just for 12 volt systems. Uh, 24 volt you have to run uh, parallel so right now we're running series so you would connect these in and boom you go to your charge controller and you're done the way I did it was I went ahead and had all the leads coming into two terminal blocks off of the solar panels and you see they come from underneath there and all my leads come down and I clipped I clipped these little plugs off, these little SAE plugs. I left the one on the new uh, solar panel so I can move it. But I clipped them all off and put pigtails and terminals and used this bus bar system. So the bus bar brings down just a single positive and negative down into the charge controller inside the little house. And then the charge controller brings it out and charges these three batteries here and then back into the inverter. So yeah, you can... Definitely hook up the old and the new kits, just really depending on what your needs are and what your requirements are. If you're staying small, not needing anything really over 10, 15 amps like a regular household plug would do, 12 volt setup in series will do just fine. If you need more power output like say 240 or 220 for something big, you're going to have to go to parallel and run 24, 48 volts and that's a whole nother story whole nother set of charge controllers. So this is just a simple, easy way to hook up the old kit and the new kit together. You can either pigtail them with that little connector down there, or you can cut them and twist all the positives and all the negatives together and have just one set of wire coming down to clean things up. So I hope this helps. And as always, please hit that like button, share, subscribe. It helps the videos, it helps me bring more content to the channel. Until next time, thanks for watching. Please subscribe.